this is this is our DNA as a country racism we have a culture of policing in this country that evolved out literally evolved out of the slave patrols and is is still running that way and we need to tear the whole thing down and start over again I would remind you that America modern-day America the the you know a, a nation independent from Great Britain was was birthed in a riot, in vandalism. The Boston Tea Party. It was over a million dollars worth of tea was thrown into the Boston Harbor by people who were pissed off that, that, that the government of, of England was sponsoring basically police terrorism in their communities. In fact, the Third Amendment that says that you can't be forced to put soldiers up in your house was, you know, a direct piece of that. The first man to die in this in this revolutionary effort, you know, Crispus Atticus, was a black man in the Boston Massacre. I mean, this, we, this is, this is our DNA as a country, racism. And the DNA of our police forces is racism. So we've got a police state here in the United States, essentially uh, numerous police forces across this country, completely out of control. Nine, over 90% of the cops in Minneapolis, who are Minneapolis police officers, don't live in Minneapolis. That right from the get-go, I mean, if you want to pass federal legislation, to just start to nibble away at a little tiny corner of this problem. Pass a federal law that says no police officer in the United States shall serve in a community where they do not have their primary residence. Uh, number one, but that's but that you know that that is such a tiny piece of this. The big piece of this is that what we are watching right now is the slave patrols on display, and you know uh, Breonna Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery, I mean, the, the the list just and, and George Floyd now murdered, and in in every case we're seeing you know the police just oh well you know yeah so and and then when they do get fired, I mean these four cops got fired right. If they don't get arrested, and if they don't get prosecuted, and if they don't end up in prison, they're going to end up where all the other killer cops have ended up, back on some other police department. Typically a smaller town police department with a lower budget who has to hire cops who have bad records because they'll work for less money than the big city police departments. We have a culture of policing in this country that evolved out, literally evolved out of the slave patrols and is is still running that way. And we need to tear the whole thing down and start over again.